Don't you hate it when you see those I made $100,000 and I didn't do anything posts? I know I do. I don't like them. I think they're 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 really crappy. <laughs> but I do like it when people teach actual ways to make money, especially in the online world, especially in the economy that we're in. How do you actually make, let's say, an unlimited amount of income? That's what we're going to talk about today. I have three, just like I said last month, three simple things that you need for marketing for an unlimited income strategy. Stay tuned. Okay. Again, I know we all hate the, uh, I made so much money. So this is why I so rarely talk about my income. I'll give you a general ballpark, but I very, very rarely talk about my actual income. You'll probably see one, maybe two videos on this entire channel or really anywhere on any of my platforms for any of that matter, where I actually nitty gritty down my income. I just think it's tacky. Now, that's not everybody's approach and that's okay. Maybe you absolutely love it when people are like, I made $100,000, I made $10,000, I made this. Maybe that motivates you. To me, watching somebody else make money doesn't motivate me. What motivates me is when they say, I made $30,000 and this is where it all went to. Because nine times out of 10, they're not keeping $30,000 in their pocket. But what I can tell you is that you can create unlimited income for your business. I'm not saying you're going to make $1,000. I'm not saying you're going to make $3,000, $5,000, $10,000. I'm saying that whatever your specific goal is for your business, you can make it if you have three simple strategies. Now, you know, on this channel, I am all about simple. Taking it back old school because I'm an old fool because I am. I'm actually old. <laughs> But I like simple. Simple is what moms thrive on because we have a million and other things that we have to have going on. Now, am I going to dive deep into each of these three things? No, but I'm going to give you the three general things. If you want to dive into your own specific things for these, reach out and we can have a chit chat. So what are these three magical things that you need in order to create an unlimited income? Number one, you need a solid content plan. I like God, Lauren, not another content talk. Yes, the content talk. I cannot, stress, I cannot stress the importance of content enough. So few people who I end up talking to that I don't end up working with have a good concept of good content. They're just putting themselves out there willy-nilly. They're throwing out things that they've got for sale and sometimes they make a sale, but it is not consistent and it's not engaging and it's not fun and it's not anything that's got a plan behind it. I sit down every single year and I have this huge calendar that I get usually at the Dollar Tree this year. I unfortunately had to buy it at Walmart. Ugh, I know, <laughs> but I get this huge calendar out and then I seriously sit down and map out my entire year. What am I selling each month? What are my goals for each month? With what I'm selling each month, that will determine what my content is for that month. This month, I am hardcore working with my clients on how to make sure that they have enough clients to sustain, su to sustain them through the next portion of their year. Kids are going back to school. There's a transition period for most moms. The last thing that we want to be doing is worrying about whether or not we're going to get clients, right? So content is prepped, strategy is prepped, and they know how to fill their calendar with clients so that they're not in constant stress mode. If you want to know how to fill your calendar with clients easily for the low, low price of super inexpensive, get yourself a seat in the fill your calendar with clients training right here. I think it's three modules, three zero, very quick modules. And I'm going to teach you exactly what I do to actually make sure that I make all of my income throughout the year. If I make more, that's fantastic, but I will never make less than what my plan is. It's how it works. And I teach you right here, or you can click the link below. Fill your calendar with clients now. But your first step to an unlimited income plan is to have a solid content strategy, a content plan that fits your business, that supports your ideal people, and that actually creates income for you. If you don't know how to do that, grab any of my content courses. I promise I make it simple. That is the key to the mompreneur business is simple, 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 simple. Number two, you also need to have an engagement plan. I talk to people all the time, 
or at least it feels that way. Chances are you're not talking to a lot of people. It's just one of those tasks that sometimes we hate and we put off and we don't want to do it. It makes us uncomfortable. It just, it's the least favorite part of most mompreneur businesses, myself included. This is why I have an engagement plan. Mondays, I go through my inbox and I clear it out. I look through all the tags over the weekend and I clear them out. I answer all the questions. I send out new messages. When I allow people into Mommy's on a Mission, I go ahead and send out all of my welcome messages for those who are interested in learning more. I have a plan and that is my Monday. I take two hours, two hours every single Monday and I engage. I share in other groups. I answer in my group. I go through my inbox. I answer all of my tags and I go through my email. Everything is cleared out on Monday. And it's relieving. I know for those two hours, I am dedicating my focus and energy to chit chats. I do the same on Thursday afternoon. After we've had a lot of fun during the day after the kiddo's homework is done. Normally he has some independent school time in the afternoon. And I dedicate another two hours. It's four hours a week. Now, can you break it up and do one hour a day? Sure. Can you do it in 20 minute increments? Sure. Whatever works for you, you need to have an engagement plan that will work for you, that you're going to stick to, and you're going to actually talk to people. Because if we don't talk to people, we don't get ourselves out there. So you need to have a solid engagement plan. And the third one, third tip, have a growth plan. Now, this might seem a little strange to some of you. Well, I know I want to do this and I know I want to do this and I know I want to do this or I've done this and I've done this and I've done this and I'm seeing great success with it. That's fantastic. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do next? Where is it that you are taking your business? When I hit my first six figures, it was super exciting. I made sure that I could keep it consistent, but then I needed to figure out what I was going to do next. I have zero intentions of being a multi seven figure earner. Zero intentions. I don't want to work that hard. I'm not that person. I am extremely comfortable with my numbers. Um, Do I want a little bit more? Absolutely. Will I continue to push? Absolutely. Will I probably hit that seven figure mark? Absolutely. Do I plan to keep the momentum to have this huge organization? No, I don't. I am content with my three, sometimes four helpers. If I could work with just two, that would satisfy me. I don't have grand dreams of huge successes and multi-million dollar businesses. That's just not who I am. It's not what I want. I am moving. I have moved to my dream house at this point. (laughs) By the time you see this, I will have moved into my dream house and I will be gardening probably at the moment you're watching this. That's my dream. I like to crochet. I like to garden. I like to homeschool. Can I make a phenomenal income? Yes. Do I continue to still grow? Yes. Will we continue to still grow our financial budgets in our family with other avenues of income? Absolutely. Will I continue to scale this? No, I will switch my growth plan to other avenues, other sources of income that we have going on. We're going to increase our our rental properties. We're going to do all sorts of other things that will turn into our focus. They will not be at home entrepreneurs focus. I will keep my momentum going, but I will take my growth plan and change it to someplace else. For you, it might simply mean you want to see how far your business will grow. When you come to a place where you're super comfortable, it's time to grow. It's time to move to that next step. So you need to have a growth plan in order to keep that income growing. Seriously, it is that simple. Do you need to put the work in, in each of those spots? Absolutely. But the framework... It doesn't have to be rocket science. Have a content plan, have an engagement plan, and have a growth plan. If you have those three things, the amount of income that you are generating is going to be limitless. I promise you, it doesn't have to be difficult. You just have to get knuckle down and do it. In your mom mompreneur pockets of time, of course. If you want to make it simple, grab, fill your calendar with clients right now and click the link below and grab it. That's what I've got for you. I will see you guys right back here next month. Bye.